reason gluten is a problem today is because the wheat we're eating is not the wheat we ate. It's not the bread of our ancestors, right? It's been modified through hybridization to create a super strain of wheat called dwarf wheat, which has many more proteins that create inflammation that are gluten proteins. It also has a much higher starch content. In fact, two tablespoons of sugar raises your blood sugar less than two slices of whole wheat bread. So we now know that the kind of we were eating is very inflammatory, that we know that this can disrupt the gut lining because of all these other factors, it sort of catalyzed this problem. So 50 years ago, they had blood samples on 10,000 people looking at celiac disease and they compared it to a blood sample of 10,000 people today and there was a real increase of 400% in celiac disease. So this is not a fad. This is a real phenomena that's a result of the increased use of antibiotics, the lack of breastfeeding, the processed food, and the chronic stresses, environmental toxins, all colluding to drive disruptions in the gut function, which allows the gluten to actually break through and create the systemic inflammation. So if you have any inflammatory condition, or really any chronic condition, gluten should be at the top of your list and thinking about why. Whether it's an autoimmune disease, digestive disorders, depression, neurologic issues, many of these things are driven through gluten. And by doing an elimination diet, you can often see the impact. There's a spectrum of reactions to foods, from all the way from a mild reaction, we might have a little stomach upset or a little inflammation, all the way to full-blown autoimmune disease. So, in medicine, we tend to think of things as on or off. You have them or you don't. The truth is, the body is more complex than that, and reactions to gluten can be along a spectrum, and anywhere along that spectrum can create symptoms and create cognitive issues, digestive issues, immune issues, uh, and if you're really unlucky, you might have full-blown celiac disease. What I would recommend is anybody who thinks they have any chronic issues to do a short-term diet of elimination. It could be like my 10-day detox diet, which is 10 days, or it could be a 21-day program. You just should stop the foods that are driving inflammation and see the difference in how you feel. There's no better doctor in the world than your body to tell you what works or what doesn't work.